Oh, oh, you man. caught me watching Ginger GM. Just let, let me turn this off. I'm probably... Tap that. Turn it around. Oh, my gosh. There we are. Yeah, so uh, it was really nice to meet um, Alexander and um, his dad, Mike, at the... I think we met at the works, if I remember, but I can't actually recall where we met, but I've always enjoyed watching his videos. I mean, bouncing around and... Uh, climb really precisely and um so to be able to get to coach him and uh, him be one of the uk squad that was that was quite a special sort of thing for me and uh yeah i've been teaching 70 year olds i've got a lovely chap who i work with uh who's uh got cerebral palsy which we, we had an argument with years ago and and now um it, we're getting on great so uh, yeah, I'm just coaching quite a few people and coaching them regularly and uh, and really enjoying it. And they're learning really quickly, which is really gratifying. So I hope you enjoy uh, this little film about Alex. But I'll show you some things that I think are principles that are really well worth knowing. So if we find a slab, we can try it without, without getting pumped out. Let's some go, let's go over here. If you have before you started, noticed that that was super slippy, yeah. I think you'd have thought about getting the pinch on the higher volume. tricky because that reach is quite a long way isn't it yeah so I mean a major thing for you is is when you assess can I reach how often are you right half the time I'm right half the time so you're 50% off yeah how do you think you can improve that because then you would know whether to jump or know whether to try and reach the other the other thing is I can see I try and think what are the shapes the little oases of grip that you can make with your body. I know that you think that as well, but if you have a little map, maybe you take 10 seconds to count the holes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 holds. I look at the angles, they're going <whistles> Shut your eyes. I can sort of see that in my mind. And then the next thing is, what shapes do they make? Because you're hitting good hands. You're, when you move, you're naturally hitting the right angles. So I, I, I think that stuff, I think you already get. I just think you're a bit impatient. We all are, aren't we? These are not things that people are, are very good at, really. When, when human beings are impatient. So if you just take a little bit longer, I think it will help you. And then work out what the candidate the choices, the guesses that you've got of what to do and then work out what, which one you think is best and then totally go for that one. And then when you go for that one, if you think this is not right, it'll really tell you that's not a good idea earlier and that should also help. You know when you know you try a problem and it starts to get a bit boring and you start to fail what I usually do is try another problem or another two problems and when I've got three on the go it's hard to get irritated by three problems at once 
Should we try another one and come back? Yeah, that might be good. Yeah, that's good. So, so you know you're peeling off at the back, you're doing it well, but try and get rid of the face. So you come out more, out more towards me. That's better, isn't it? So we're going to go to the black undercling and go to the purple uh, foothold, yeah? Like that. Or rather, without falling off. Oh, it's got a really weird lull. Yeah, you don't want to totally stop. Two pounds. like this, I think what we're both not doing or why we're both failing on this, we're not sure what shape we want to make at the end. We're not really targeting our move properly. So try and picture exactly what shape you want at the end and don't move until you've got that clear, yeah? And imagine this, this gremlin pushing you in, where from and how much. Burning off 11 year old kids. It's brilliant. So, when you do that, it would have been nice to have somebody catch you here, wouldn't it? So, try and move in such a way that you're producing that. Do you know the word vector? Yeah. Yeah, so you want that vector basically. Just go up there and spend some time in the position you would most like to get into. So, yeah, so spend some time, really relax there. Hard to get it there though. Right, so spend some time there. So try and touch your nose and go back to the same position. Try and touch your nose and go back to the same position. No, no, not like, that's cheating. It's a good idea, but it's not what I meant. Take your hand off, take your hand off, touch your nose and then go back to the hold. So you see that fall, that angle, really get used to that. And it, and it's, it, it goes quite fast. It's like whoa, whoa. Yeah, so set out. Yeah, that's better, exactly. No touch in the wall and no right foot. So it's hot. imagine this is hot, red hot. Use your hand to, to hold it. Nice, good. Okay, so, so now you know that cosy, that cosy shape. Keep that in your mind all the time from the beginning. Nice, good man. Can you hang those two? So, a little idea here that could help. You're standing on this bit. 
But the bit that makes it slabbiest is this bit. Because obviously, if you were stood on something here, you'd take your hands off. Do you think you could um, hang those two without this? Nice. Brilliant. I want you to run in and imagine, imagine that's water. I want you to run in and hang those holes. So now jump. you, yeah, to jump. Jump and hang. Jump and hang the holes. Without using that? Yeah, without using that. Okay. So obviously, don't just run at it crazily or you'll whack yourself from that and hurt yourself. I don't want you to move till you know you're going to do it. So you're going to have to remember, yeah? So you're going to have to remember exactly how it felt and where your feet were. Think of where your feet really need to be and how, they, how soggy they are. You need, you need sort of soggy, draggy feet. Yeah, oh, you on, you'd have hung it then as well, wouldn't you? If the pink hadn't have been there, you'd have hung it. Yeah, well done, really good. It's a bit too far, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, that was good, well done. Yeah.